Shane, the finality of Game 7 and the reality that you had to watch, can you now articulate just how hard that was for you? No. I mean, no, it's not. I mean, it's um, give anything to be out there and try to help your teammates. And um, obviously, uh, I've been waiting a long time to play these, and uh, it's, it was tough. We saw you in the room between periods. I know you were in the room uh, on Sunday, Game 6 at Joe Lewis, but did you say anything after this was said and done? No, I mean, there's nothing to be said. I mean, it's one of those things that I think we're going to meet again on the next day or two, and, uh, and stuff that needs to be said will be said then. But you know what? As a as a player, this is this year didn't start out obviously even remotely the way that I would have liked it to, and it hasn't finished the way I would have liked it to either. But as a group, it was an unbelievable time, and as a team, we've had an unbelievable run. And, I'm really, I'm excited. I'm really excited about next year, and I'm going to enjoy all the little things of this year. You, you have watched this for so long, and there's a phrase in sports now. It's a catchphrase, but changing the culture. Did that happen here? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you do what we did with having the success that we had throughout the year. That things, um, you know, what we we expect to win, and I think that's probably the, the one that makes it tonight the hardest. Is that. We expect it to win. As a group, we all expect it to win. This team feels like it was the sum of its parts. Is that true? Yeah, you look through our lineup, and you know, I, I don't think you know, other than Brizzy, you know, there wasn't too many guys that felt that they were, you know, were unbelievable. We just, as a group, we all played well together, and and that's and that really has been that's probably made it so much fun is that we counted on every single guy and and every different situation whether it's Oki with you know closing out games and having fun with that or you know the new guys coming in fitting in so well you look at guys like Pruka and Verbi and, and our checks playing well bringing a guy like Mo back um, Verbi coming back it, it was one of those things that you know a lot, a lot of people had a lot of expectations for us and we we had a fun time and we definitely enjoyed ourselves. I saw you the day that Dave Tippett was introduced walking down the hallway. I saw the look on your face. Why were you so excited about the prospect of him coming here? Well, I, I think uh, playing against Tip and hearing things that uh, other people had said about him and having a chance to play with him at the World Championships to just have a huge amount of respect for him and the way he prepared for games. And um, I thought that um, he gave us an incredible chance to win. And, I, I, one of the biggest things was the fact that there was so much uncertainty at the time and to have somebody like that be sitting on the sidelines to be able to step in and, and answer all those questions. I know you weren't out there, Shane, but there was a message sent from your fan base to the players on the ice. Does that speak volumes to you about maybe what has happened here? Yeah, I, I mean, it's one of those things that uh, I'm, as, I'm as big a supporter of the Phoenix Valley and the fans as anybody. I think that we have the best fans. I, I think that you put our the success we've had as an organization in any other city in North America, and it would have been a lot uglier than it was. And they have proven. I mean, everyone believed it. I believed it as much as anyone that they would come, and they came, and they've been unbelievable for us. Our home record in the last ten games, I think we won ten in a row in the regular season, or close to that. And I mean, it's a huge testament to them, the way that they supported us. And as a player, the guys around the room are talking about how much fun it is to, to be here and to play here. And that's because the fans are they are incredible. I mean, and the people see it now when they when they get a chance. There are other people that want to talk. Thank you, Shane, yeah. for, no for your access. Your yeah. run. Thanks so much. Shane, where back did you watch the game from here? Or? I watched it from a couple different spots. I, was, I watched. I wanted to watch it with my, my kids, too. Um, and when it kind of went a little bit the other way, my I wasn't the spot to be watching it with my kids anymore. I watched it down here for a little bit, and I, for most part, I stayed down here. Shane, with no adrenaline and uh, desire to play, clouding your judgment now. How was the shoulder? It's um, yeah, it's um, you know, it's one of those things that um, you it's it's feeling okay. Oh, I, I mean, I hope that we bring a lot of them back because, I mean, I think that uh, of everybody that came back or everyone that was here, I mean, you, you go through the whole group. It's it's an incredible group of guys with great personalities that mesh together really well. And um, 
Yeah, for sure. You talk to guys around the league. Everyone loves Tip, and the, it's an incredible place to live. It's an incredible city. Fans are great, and everyone's talking. I mean, the fans are great here. And it's uh, it's exciting, and I'm excited for the summer. A couple more questions. If this happens in November or December, how long? Uh, <laughs> a while, but um, it's uh, one of those things that it didn't. It happened now, and I, I just I can't believe it. I mean, I've been. Yeah, it's uh, it's I don't. That's one of the things that you know. It's kind of. I just I, I can't believe that, that that it worked out the way it did because that would have been my last expectation or thought on that's the way it would go.